वेलकम टू खिजर चौका स्कूल ऑफ एडवांस केमिस्ट्री हेलोजेंस फ्लोरिन क्लोरिन ब्रोमीन आयोडीन एंड एस्टेटीन आर द मेंबर्स ऑफ हेलोजन फैमिली नो कम टू वर्ड्स देयर प्रॉपर्टीज नंबर वन दे शो वेरिएबल ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट starting from minus 1 to plus 7 but fluorine does not show any positive integer or positive oxidation state the second one is they form ionic as well as covalent compound like nacl is an ionic compound but hcl is a covalent compound they all need to gain one electron to fill its completely p orbital in their class shell first two members fluorine and chlorine are the pale yellow and yellowish green gases at room temperature Bromine is a reddish brown liquid while iodine and astatine are the dark solid at room temperature. So color darkens down the group. Vapors of iodine are purple while its solution is brown. They form diatomic molecule for example Cl2 and Br2. With increasing the number of electron in the molecule there is increase in the molecular size boiling point induced dipole dash induced dipole forces but bond energy of the molecule decreases because the bond length increases Okay now come towards the graphical representation of the physical properties of the halogens and halogen hydrides or hydrogen halides The first one is bond length in x2 are halogens versus cl2 br2 and i2 as we move from cl2 to br2 and br2 to i2 the size of molecule increases size of the atoms also increases so as a result bond length between two atoms increases strength of the van der waals forces as we move from cl2 to br2 br2 to i2 number of electron increases so the strength of van der waals forces between the similar molecule increases same is the case that is observed in case of boiling point boiling point of x2 halogens has a very much similar trend as that of the van der waals forces as the van der waals forces increases boiling point also increases bond energy of the hx hcl hbr and hi once again as the size of the halogen increases basically bond energy decreases uh, for example hcl has a stronger bond then hbr is the weaker bond and in this case hi has the weakest bond boiling point of hx hydrogen halides and strength of the van der waals forces of hydrogen halide have also similar pattern hf has the highest boiling point in this case then there is a, a sequence a proper trend that is shown by the hcl hbr and hi there is gradual increase from hcl to hbr and hi the next one is strength of van der waals forces once again hf contain hydrogen bonding while hcl hbr and hi dominantly contain induced dipole dash induced dipole forces or dispersion forces or linden forces so as the number of electron increases the intensity of these type of forces increases now come towards the next one uh, that is the bond length in hx hf hcl hbr and hi as we move from uh, top to the bottom then we see that uh, hf then hcl then hbr then hi has the bond length as the size of the halogen atom increases the bond length in hx molecule also increases fluorine shows specular behavior in some properties with respect to the others next point is they are not good conductor of heat and electricity their melting and boiling points increases as we move down the group electronegativity and reactivity decreases down the group the trend is F2 is more reactive than Cl2 Cl2 is more reactive than Br2 Br2 is more reactive than I2 and I2 is more reactive than At2 
They form acidic oxide which ionize in water, for example, OCl2. They react with the cold water, for example, fluorine oxidizes water, react with the water to make O2N, an aqueous hydrogen fluoride. Chlorine and bromine also give the acidic solution in water, but the reaction is different from the fluorine. Cl2 react with H2O to give H positive ion, Cl negative ion, and ClO1 negative ion aqueous. Similarly, Br react with H2O to make H positive ion, Br negative ion, and BrO negative ion. So, Cl2 and Br2 show the similar chemical reaction with H2O. Solution containing BRO negative ion or ClO negative ion aqueous act as bleaching agent as well as oxidizing agent. However, iodine is almost insoluble in water. It does not react with water. The next point, they act as oxidizing agent. For example, when iron is allowed to react with the chlorine, it makes iron 3 chloride. Oxidizing power decreases down the group that can be visualized with the help of data booklet. In the data booklet, higher the number of the halogen mean higher the power to gain the electron and vice versa. So the element higher in the group can displace or oxidize the ion of the other member. For example, Cl2 can oxidize Br negative ion, Cl2 can oxidize I negative ion as well because Cl2 is higher in the group and Br2 and I2 are lower in the group. But the reverse is not true. So, for example, Br2 cannot oxidize Cl negative ion into Cl2. Thanks for watching.